everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for September 10th, 2021. Let's see what we have going on for today. Having clear vision. This is what we've really been talking about. Having clear vision with manipulators, especially people who want to love bomb you. You're the greatest, you're the greatest. Then you turn around and go, okay, well, let's explore this. And they're like, <laughs> no, it was just a game. Bye. <laughs> right? Be careful around that. All right. Balance. A lot of people are coming up on a very difficult anniversary um, here in the United States. I record these ahead of time. God forbid, if anything should happen, I will absolutely come back on and make sure uh, we're addressing this. So if you were somebody who was affected by the 9-11 attacks, I, we were all affected, but I'm saying if you were very close and deeply affected, um, please know that we're here for you. We love you. We are thinking of you. And uh, don't be afraid to reach out for help if you need it. All right. Now, this does say to maintain our balance. What this tells me is that there's going to be a lot of these fear narratives out there meant to shake us up as you will i'm preaching to the choir over here right but um this is more of a discussion between friends i think <laughs> at this point we know we know how we get manipulated like that how people will come forward with their false love with their games with their violence god forbid when we are in balance we can relate to one another in a beautiful, harmonious way. And when we do that, our light connects and then it connects and connects and connects and pretty soon, this is why meditation on a grand scale works to help with world peace. That's the gig, there it is, right? So as much as we can try not to give in to a hateful narrative or a fear-mongering uh, you know, narrative, please be careful. Mr. Eric, I know where you work, okay? I want you to be careful. I don't know what's gonna happen, but if you feel like not going to work that day <laughs> or whatever, or just be on alert, I guess is what I'm saying. Again, I don't really know anything. I'm just a spiritual intuitive over here and I feel um, an energy. And so I try to interpret that energy. Just be careful is all I'm saying. So everybody, please make sure that you are staying vigilant that you're taking care of yourselves, that energetically you are staying balanced as best you can. I know we might get upset. We might be sad or what have you. That's natural. We have to put an end to us being pulled apart. Because when we love each other, there's no better feeling. And I'm not talking about love partner. Can you think of one memory ever where you walked into a room full of people and you just felt the love. Everybody was just cool with each other. Supportive. Now some of you might be sitting there saying, I've never felt that. And that's just not okay. You, you should be able to feel that. That should be on offer for you because you are lovable, absolutely. But we get pulled apart. I love when I walk into a party and there's just a bunch of cool people around. Then I come to life. I'm very social. But when I walk, especially when I was in New York and L.A., I would walk in and it was all opportunists. Um, when I was in L.A., it was all people trying to see who you knew, um, trying to slander other people so that they seemed better. When I was in New York, it was all elitism, um, you know. If you're not rich or you didn't go to Ivy League, then you're nothing. But we'll kind of allow you here because literally for me, <laughs> this whole thing was like, we'll kind of let you be at our Ivy League party because you're just so interesting. Like you're just, I don't know what it is about you. You're just, you're just bizarre. Like, like you feel things. Sorry, Ivy League people. It's not like every single one of you <laughs> don't feel anything. I'm talking about the parties that I went to in New York. It was very, um, We'll let the girl who went to grad school at New School University. I mean, that's pretty, like, gritty. We need a little grit for our party. <laughs> that's why I got invited. And I would show up and I was like, I hate this. I really do. God bless every single one of you. But I do not, you know, I'm a very intellectual person as well as being creative and spiritual and philosophical and all that. But this was just, 
I don't know. I, I don't want to be too offensive here, but it wasn't great. <laughs> definitely was not balanced and I would have something diminishing said to me I went to a Hall Halloween party one time you know with a bunch of Ivy League people and I was wearing this um I don't know what you call it like a bodysuit thing I had a jacket over it but I was playing a character right so I had the character wears a bodysuit so I had that on and I'm a chubby woman now body positivity people be like yes yes for showing up in that yeah you show off those curves honey the people in this party were like that's brave what is she wearing like I actually heard a woman say I wouldn't even wear that and I'm thin disgusting okay <laughs> it's disgusting anyway the point of me telling you this is for entertainment purposes but <laughs> and just to bond here right like we're friends here but really to look at that and, and ask yourself like what when do I remember being in a room where I felt the good energy, where I felt like people really wanted to connect and it wasn't for some other ulterior motive, okay? Let's remember those times when we're with the really good-hearted people and keep that feeling going <laughs> and see what we can pull together for this world. All right, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.